And I, for the life of me, cannot cut straight today. <laughs> but, you know, I guess that's me every day, so... Hello everyone, and welcome back to Angie's Seams and Pockets. And today I have a very exciting video for you guys. I found this amazing black, um, kind of like that wing choker collar while I was browsing on my Pinterest. And of course... I had to recreate it, but before I could, you know, credit is due where credit is found. Um, I don't think that's the correct way of saying that, but it is today. So I went on a reverse image search trying to figure out who the original creator of this was, and I found um, the Pale Corvus on Etsy, who also has a lot of other collar choker type things, and um, if you really like this collar and you want it, I will link their um, store and this specific posting below, so you can go ahead and purchase your own. But today I'll be making mine based off the inspiration of what they had created. So uh, without further ado, I guess we should get started. Um, so I am kind of doing a duo filming today because I'm testing out some new equipment that I'm super excited about so I will be talking up here and below here you can see my lovely little hands doing you know what they're gonna do so I guess to start off we need the circumference of my lovely neck I will measure that out real quick uh, ooh, ow. so I'm at about 12 inches which is perfect ooh. So I'm going to work on half of the pattern and then so that way I just have a fold line. This way I don't have to, you know, find a piece of paper that's over 12 inches long and also not be scared that I'm not getting the measurements, you know, even. Um, so I'm going to make a line at about 7 inches just to give myself a little bit of seam allowance. Well, let's do 6 and a half. Um, so 6 and a half, and then I'm going to go down by 2 inches. So if I have it folded over by about a quarter of an inch. Alright, so that's two inches and that's my seam allowance for there. This will be a fold line. This is six and a half to about here because my neckline is about that much, but I know there's going to be a little bit of um, sewing down to create those kind of grooved lines. Um, there's a terminology for it, but I can't think of it to save my life. So I will, if I remember it, fill it in later. And if not, it's just going to be some sort of, you know, it's that word. <laughs> um, and then from there, I also want to measure out about half of this, which would be three and quarter. So this is my side seam just so I know where that starts because I don't want the little bat wings to kind of go out before they're ready to. And then from here I will kind of draw out a bit of a triangle, putting out the little where I want the, um, the bat wing, you know, the little wing part. Inch and a half interval so I have three lines. Um, so those are going to kind of come out about that much and then I guess from here I just kind of curve up and in. Then I'm going to add a little bit of a seam allowance on this side so I can actually fold it over later. So I have this, of course, you know, we still need to figure out exactly how it's gonna go but I think that's a good start so I am going to cut this out and I need to run downstairs and grab some crappy um, craft scissors so I don't ruin my nice good sewing scissors and again I don't actually know 100% what I'm doing I've never made something like this before a lot of the time sewing is trial and error you don't actually know if what you're doing is gonna work until you have you know finished your thing Alright, so I got my little pattern here, and I've got my fabric. This is some faux leather that I picked up from a local store. I'm not exactly 100% sure of all of the um, specs of the fabric itself, you know, but uh, it is faux leather. I know that much, and it's what I'm going to be working with. Uh, for this, I will put away my crappy scissors and actually pull out my fabric scissors so I can get, you know, nice little clean lines and not the crappy shit you get when you cut with craft scissors. These um, used to be fabric scissors and they no longer are. Alright, so 
So I have my little piece cut out, and I mean it's already starting to kind of look exactly what I want it to look like. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of um, fold over the lines that I marked. So we have those like, again, I don't remember the actual term for it, but I know there is one. Um, like those grooves. Um, so it's kind of like that, but sewn on very, you know, finely. Um, and then this will go up to here. You can see closely here, I have the lines kind of marked out where the grooves will fall, just so I have that, you know, kind of figured out ahead of time. So it's even on both sides. Um, so without further ado, let's go put this together. Um, this is really cute. I don't think this matches the dress I'm currently wearing. So I'm just gonna go maybe put on um, something else real quick and then I will do a quick montage and we can talk about this um, and make some final conclusions of what I think. this video thank you guys so much for watching um, this collar even though it has a couple little faults on its own is still so goddamn cute and I am so excited that I have this in my wardrobe now I might fix it later or make another one in my own free time but you know for a first attempt I am so happy with how it came out um, if there are any other you know gothy fashionable accessories or collars or you know anything really that you want me to attempt to recreate go ahead and feel free to send me a link to the item and I will see if it's something that I am capable of doing. And thank you guys again so much for joining me today while I made this cute little collar. And with that being said, I will see all of you lovelies in my next video. Bye!